Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, wow. This is Bart Coppens and today I am holding a giant butterfly. I went to southeastern Brazil in a natural reserve named Regua to study the local species of butterflies and moths. And one of the really impressive species I encountered that I want to talk about is the owl butterfly. We have several species here. The reason they are called owl butterflies is because they have these really ridiculously realistic eye spots on their hind wings. And when they sit still or when they fly, it kind of makes them look like an owl. And that's precisely what the eye spots are for, because any predator, such as a bird or a rodent, will be scared shitless, thinking it's facing a lethal predator. Now, I bet some of you are familiar with morpho butterflies. We have them here in southeastern Brazil too. Several species, in fact. Morpho butterflies are those large, iconic, iridescent blue butterflies that you see everywhere. But here's a nice fun fact. Did you know that the owl butterfly is related to morpho butterflies? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, they are cousins. And you can see this in their color too. Now, owl butterflies rarely open their wings. Don't worry, I know how to handle them without damaging or hurting them. I'm very experienced with holding these animals. But if we open their wings, something which owl butterflies rarely do, we unveil a very, very precious, gorgeous blue color. Do you see that? It's almost similar to a morpho butterfly, isn't it? Thing is, this color is hard to see except for when they fly, because these, these butterflies really don't like to open their wings very much. But as you can see, this large, large species of butterfly is actually absolutely gorgeous and colorful. Wow, is that not fantastic? Look at that amazing creature. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely beautiful. And now I'm gonna let it go. As you can see, it's fine, it's not hurt, it's not damaged. I know how to touch them. Do not worry. Wow, you are so beautiful. Such an amazing owl butterfly. Now, another amazing fact about owl butterflies is that they are crepuscular. What does that mean? Well, it means that these butterflies are active during the twilight. Especially when the sun is going down in the evening just before sunset, these owl butterflies like what are called low light conditions. So this butterfly is different than most butterflies because it likes to fly in the darkness. Now it doesn't fly in the middle of the night, but it does fly when it's getting really dark. When it's too dark to fly for most other butterfly species. And it's, it has special eyes that are adapted to dark conditions. So I guess you can say this is one of the few only butterflies that can see in the dark and can fly very well. Now, a lot of butterflies and moths are attracted to nectar from flowers. All butterflies are not. Fruit. Here is a squished banana that I plucked from a banana tree. And a fun fact about owl butterflies is they are exclusively frugivorous. Yeah, that's right. They only feed on rotting fruits in the wild. They don't go to flowers or flower nectar. And just to prove it to you, I'm gonna hope that our owl butterfly is hungry today because I'm going to place it on a banana and see if it wants to eat or drink. Perhaps if it smells the fruit. Ah, you can see its tongue is starting to move a little bit. Yeah, yeah, do you see that? Come on, butterfly, you can do it. Do you see it? It's drinking. Now you can see it's proboscis. Proboscis is what most people call its tongue, but it's not actually a tongue. They're modified mouth parts. Oh, can you see it's drinking the juice? So this butterfly was hungry and it's drinking the fruit juice. So this demonstrates how attracted they are to fruits.
This was Bart Coppens today with the giant owl butterfly Caligo Ilionius. I hope you learned something cool today, something new that you didn't know yet. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and of course soon I will be back with more insect videos. Bye bye!